I'm Phil Charles, I'm a senior station officer based at Cranmoon Fire Station. Uh, around about 3.30 this afternoon we received a call to an electrical fire at a local abattoirs uh, in Thompson's Road, Cranbourne. Uh, we arrived on scene and we found a fire burning in one corner of the premises. Uh, we initially tried an internal attack but that was uh, quite dangerous because by that stage some of the ceiling was starting to fall in. So we reverted to an external attack and we could see the fire. At that stage it gained quite a bit of momentum and was spreading um, from the west of the factory um, down to the eastern end of the factory. So initially we called for additional um, pumpers to respond and also air appliances to respond as well um, and further equipment was called as the fire progressed. Uh, it looked quite grim uh, on arrival just the way the fire was spreading uh, but with the use of the aerial appliances, the, the platforms in Dandenong and the Teleboom from Frankston, we actually did manage to pull the fire up and stop it engulfing the whole factory. Uh, so some fairly aggressive work by the firefighters did manage to pull that uh, fire up, which really surprised all of us. There was also a large number of stock on site, cattle and sheep, right uh, next to the factory itself. So luckily management did arrive and we were able to herd those cattle in some other holding pens. So as far as I know, all the cattle yeah, were safely herded in some paddocks at the rear of the property. We had catering because a large number of personnel on site, I would say probably at one stage maybe 80 personnel um, from Fire Brigade and other supporting services. So we had catering and also um, we now have called on the SES to provide lighting because the, um, the clean up is going to continue into the night. Yeah, one of the critical problems that we did find, there was one hydrant um, from a street main for the whole complex. So it was very difficult um, to spend uh, one single water supply to put out a factory fire. So we managed to get some um, a large, large capacity uh, pump set up on a dam, so we had two of those pumping and they eventually became our major water source um, to provide the aerial appliances with water to extinguish the fire. At this stage it looks like probably half or even more of the factory is damaged, so there'll be a substantial uh, bill for the owners here, obviously several million dollars. We have had the police uh, on scene fairly early to help with our investigation and also the CFA specialist fire investigators have been on scene, but the, the cause is still undetermined.